In today's world, working smarter is more important than just working harder. Success, whether in business, relationships, or personal growth, often comes down to strategy. How do you stay ahead of the competition? How do you handle conflict without burning bridges? Today we're diving into two of the most powerful books on strategy, The Art of War by Sun Tzu and The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Both are packed with valuable lessons that will help you think ahead, control situations, and win without having to fight directly. Let's dive into how these timeless ideas apply in everyday life. The Art of War, Strategic Mastery and Adaptability. Sun Tzu's The Art of War is over 2,500 years old, yet its principles still hold true today. Sun Tzu teaches that the key to success isn't brute force, but thoughtful planning and understanding of both yourself and your circumstances. One of his central ideas is knowing yourself and your opponent. Know yourself and your enemy. Sun Tzu said, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This means understanding your own strengths and weaknesses, as well as those of the competition. Whether you're negotiating, preparing for a project, or competing in any area, knowing both sides gives you a powerful advantage. Picture preparing for an important pitch at work. If you're aware of your own team's strengths while also understanding what your competitors or colleagues will bring to the table, you'll be more confident and prepared to respond to whatever comes your way. Not every challenge requires head-on confrontation. Sometimes victory is achieved before the battle even begins. Winning without fighting. One of Sun Tzu's most powerful ideas is that the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. In everyday life, this means finding ways to achieve your goals without unnecessary conflict. It's about using strategy to create a situation where you win without having to fight at all. Consider a business deal where instead of competing on price, you offer something unique, like superior service or quicker turnaround times. This positions you to win the deal because you've shifted the focus to your strengths, leaving your competition behind without direct confrontation. But, as we know, not every situation can be resolved peacefully. When conflict does arise, being adaptable is essential. Adaptability. Sun Tzu also emphasizes the need for adaptability, comparing a good strategist to water, which adjusts its shape to fit its environment. He says, in war, the victorious strategist only seeks battle after the victory has been won. Flexibility allows you to pivot when the situation changes, ensuring that you're always prepared for the unexpected. Think about how businesses shifted to online operations during the pandemic. Those that were quick to adapt thrived, while others that stuck to outdated models struggled. Being able to change course when needed is often the difference between success and failure. However, even the most flexible strategy won't help if you haven't put in the groundwork. That's where preparation comes in and comes. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of come easy. The importance of preparation. Sun Tzu teaches that every battle is won before it is ever fought. Preparation is critical. It's not enough to be adaptable in the moment. You need to have done the work in advance. When you've prepared thoroughly, you're ready for anything that comes your way. Think of athletes who spend countless hours in training. By the time they hit the field, they've already visualized the game in their minds, making them more equipped to handle whatever comes up. The same applies to you. When you invest time in preparing, success becomes a natural outcome. Now that we've covered how preparation, adaptability, and strategy are the foundations of Sun Tzu's thinking, let's switch gears and explore the modern-day lessons in the 48 Laws of Power. The 48 Laws of Power, Mastering Influence and Control While the art of war focuses on strategic military tactics, Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power is about understanding the subtle dynamics of influence in everyday life. It shows us how to navigate relationships, work environments, and even personal interactions to ensure that we're always positioned to win. Let's dive into a few key laws, starting with the idea of managing relationships with those in power. Law 1. Never outshine the master. Green's first law is about not making those above you feel insecure. His advice? Never outshine the master. If you make your superior feel threatened, they may see you as a rival and work against you. Instead, find ways to make them look good. 
while quietly building your own influence behind the scenes. Imagine you have a brilliant idea that could help your team succeed. Rather than presenting it in a way that undermines your boss, involve them in the process. Let them take some credit while you demonstrate your value without stealing the spotlight. This ensures your boss feels supported and you still get to showcase your strengths. Sometimes though, it's not about letting others shine. It's about keeping your own plans hidden until the right moment. Law 3. Conceal your intentions. Green's Law 3 reminds us that transparency can sometimes work against us. He advises, conceal your intentions. Revealing your plans too early can give others the opportunity to sabotage or outmaneuver you. By keeping your intentions hidden, you maintain the advantage. Think of it like chess. If your opponent knows your next move, they'll block you at every turn. The same applies in business or personal situations. By keeping your strategy close to the chest, you control the flow of the game and make it harder for others to counter your moves. However, sometimes holding back isn't enough. In many cases, being seen is critical to your success. Law 6. Court Attention at All Costs Green's Law 6 teaches us that court attention at all costs. In a world where everyone is competing for attention, being invisible can put you at a disadvantage. It's essential to stay visible, whether at work, in social circles, or when building a personal brand. If people don't see the value you bring, they might forget about you altogether. Take, for example, a content creator or influencer. Their career thrives on visibility. If they don't stay present and engage their audience, they risk losing relevance. The same goes for professionals. If your contributions aren't noticed, it's easy to be overlooked when opportunities for growth come around. Of course, gaining attention can sometimes attract competition. That's when Green's more decisive strategies come into play. Law 15. Crush your enemy completely. Green's Law 15 focuses on decisiveness. He advises, crush your enemy completely. This isn't about physical destruction, but about eliminating a rival's ability to challenge you again. Half measures often leave room for future problems to resurface. Let's say you're competing for a promotion. It's not enough to simply do better than your rival. You want to secure the position so thoroughly that they have no chance of making a comeback. This could mean leading a project so successfully that your leadership is undeniable, leaving no doubt about who deserves the role. But how do you find your competitor's weak points? That's where Green's next law becomes critical. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Green's Law 33 teaches us the importance of identifying vulnerabilities, or what he calls thumbscrews. Everyone has a weakness, whether it's insecurity, ambition, or fear. By understanding these vulnerabilities, you gain leverage in any situation. Imagine you're in a tough negotiation. If you know that the other party is under financial pressure, you can use that information to push for better terms. By knowing what drives people or what scares them, you position yourself to influence them more effectively, whether in business, relationships, or personal situations. Both the Art of War and the 48 Laws of Power offer timeless insights into how to navigate life's complexities with strategy and precision. Sun Tzu teaches us the importance of preparation, adaptability, and understanding both ourselves and our competition. Robert Greene shows us how to manage relationships, control situations, and master influence without unnecessary confrontation. These lessons remind us that success isn't just about working harder, it's about working smarter. The key is to think ahead, remain flexible, and position yourself for the best outcome. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out the other videos on this channel for more insights on strategy, personal growth, and success. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update.